Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Yetzia and I'm going to show you how to make gradient stickers for your planner, whether it is for a printable planner or digital planner. Um, I'm going to show you how I make those here inside of Canva. So the first thing I did was I opened a file, I created a new file um, and I the name of it, I put um, gradient stickers. And this one is a four inch wide by six inches. That is the size that I like to print my sticker sheets. So let me start real quick. And first I'm going to pick a square, right? And now I'm going to change the color. Okay, this one, this one's pretty. And it's gonna look really pretty in, in like, like a gradient look to it. So, I'm going to make sure it's two inches wide. So I'm going to pull on the side and pull in until that says with two, that means inches. So it's two inches wide. And then I want to pull on this little line right here and make it, let's do 0.4, let me see, 0.3. Yeah, probably 0.3. So two inches wide by 0.3 um, in height. And I'm gonna take this one and I'm going to duplicate it by clicking on here, duplicate. I'm going to line it up. Then I'm going to select those two and again, duplicate. And those two, duplicate. And I'm going to end up with six rectangles. I'm going to select them all check positioning to make sure they're all perfectly aligned. And they are because this is grayed out. If, if they were not aligned, this would be available to me. But yeah, they are aligned. So this first one, actually, let me make this bigger. It'll probably be a lot easier if we can show you with this being a little bit bigger. Okay. So this first one, I'm going to leave it as, as it is. That's the color I want because the gradient is going to start with darker at the top to very light at the bottom. So I'm going to start with the second one, which would be this one that I just clicked on. I'm going to click here on transparency and I'm going to make that one 80%. And see how it's immediately a little bit lighter than the other one? Now I'm going with number three. This one, I'm going to make it 60% and it's going to be 20% lighter than this one, but 40% um, lighter than this one. And you see how that gradient is starting to happen. This one, yep, you guessed it, 40%. This next one, 20%. And we cannot make this one, well, you can, but I don't wanna make this one zero because it'll completely disappear and turn into white. I mean, you could do that, of course, but I want a little bit of shade. So I'm gonna make it five and see how that looks, 5%. Oh yeah, that looks good. See, and now I have that gradient happening. I'm going to select all of them and group them together just so they don't move. That way when I, when I click on this, I can move the whole thing together, see? Okay, let me go back to 100%. I'm going to put this here. And now I want to do dots. I do, I use a lot of dots, um, like circle dots on my planner for um, color coding. My God, that phrase totally left my brain. Color coding um, are tasks. Uh, for myself, my husband, or my son. So I'm going to start, let me make it a little bit bigger, 300. Oh, that might be just too much. No, actually, okay. And I'm doing it like right here. So this one right here, I just added a circle shape and I'm going to start pulling until it's about, yeah, 0.2 by 0.2. You can see it right there. I'm going to release and I don't, I don't want that color. It's too pink. Let's see what, oh, this one. Oh, that is so pretty. Okay, that one. So I'm going to duplicate. And now I'm going to duplicate again. And I'm gonna grab those four and I'm going to duplicate again. And now I have eight. So I'm going to select them all, go to position, I'm going to, okay, they're actually 
um, positioned correctly. So now I'm going to do, I'm click on this one horizontally. So the space in between each is the same. And I'm going to start with the second one from the left, click on here and I'm going to do 90%. Mm. And this one I'm going to do 80. This one I'm going to do 70. And basically I'm just going to keep going until I do the last one. Um, 50, I think I lost count. And this one would be 40. And then this one would be 30. There we go. And now we have that gradient created. Again, I'm going to group it. You don't have to group it. I like to just to make sure um, they look good. Okay. And let me try something. Let me duplicate this. And I want to change the color of this that I just duplicated. So I need to make sure I click on the white space in between the dots to be able to change the color to, for all of these dots. Because let's say if I click on this one, see how I selected this one? Like the whole thing is selected, but I selected this one specifically. So if I go like here and I do that, that's the only one that's actually going to um, change the color. I don't want that. I want to change the color on all of them. So when I hover on it, I'm going to click on the white space. Now all of them are selected and I'm going to click on that blue and they all will be, um, the color will change for all of them. And this is a very simple process. Let me do it again. Just to have three different ones and let's do, let's do like a yellow. Um, there we go. See, see what happened? Cause I clicked only on that one. Hold on. Okay. And now let me click on that yellow and they all will be the same color. And you can repeat the process with anything like any shape and just play around with the transparency to create what you want. Let me see if I can make like a little flag. This one. I like these for my planner. I think they're just very clean looking. Okay. So I'm going to make it, let me see, about a half inch. So 0.5 by 0.5. I'm going to keep pulling until I reach that. Okay. Uh, 0.4 by 0.5. Okay. That looks good. And this one, I'm going to make it, should we do orange? Let me see. Um, probably this one right here and I'm going to duplicate and duplicate again and duplicate again. Let's do those four. Make sure that they are aligned. Yep. Then horizontally. And now this one I'm going to do 80. This one I'm going to do 60. And this one, I'm going to do 40. There we go. And you can play around, of course, and decide um, how much of a difference do you want in between um, from one gradient to the other. You could do bigger numbers. You could do smaller numbers. It really doesn't matter. So this is what we have so far. I hope that you learned how to do it. And if you have a better way to do it, let me know because I'm always looking for um, ideas. And if you have any questions, um, leave a comment down below. And as always, there will be a link in the description box to get this template that I just created so you can import it into your Canva account and start editing. Okay, so make sure to check out that link and I'll see you on the next one.